Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial. I am Nazmul Islam from Classy Tips. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to reset the password from the back office and how to reset the email address and password both from the PSP My Admin. So let's get started. You can reset the PrestaShop password from two way. The first way is you can log into the back office and if you forget the password just click on the I forget my password and just click on you the mail address that you have registered with this back office and click on the send reset link so here you can see the message please check your mailbox a link to reset your password has been sent to you check this spam folder yes uh, if you don't get the message in the inbox then you can check the spam box sometimes they send the mail in the spam box so here if we click on this link here you can change the password so we have to write the new password and we have to write the same password then we can click on the reset password if you forget the mail suppose you have forget the email address and you have also forget the password then what can you do so in that case you have to change the password or you have to reset the password from the PSP my admin so now we will see how to change the password or reset the password from PSP my admin here one thing I would like to mention that suppose you have forget your mail address and just put the wrong mail here or you don't know the mail then if you click the send reset link then you will see that there is an error one error the account does not exist so if you found this error or if you found the other error from the back office so you can solve the way i want to show you that you have to reset your email address and you have to reset your password both from the PSP my admin or hosting so it's time to see that how can we reset the email address and also the password from our hosting so we have logged into our hosting now we have to find out the PSP my admin okay here you can see a lot of database list here so if we don't know what is our current database then we can find out easily from the cpanel just go to the file manager then click on your root folder so this is our root folder then go to the app config and parameters.php so in the parameter.php we can find out or we can get easily what is our current database so click on edit edit here you can see that the database name is test press the shop so let's go to the PSP my admin and you can see that here is test press the shop database so this is our current database of that site so click on that okay now you can see a lot of table here database table so just search on ps employee table from here we can we just found the ps employee table click on that now click on edit okay so here you can see that the first name is press the last name test here we have our login email address so we have just found our login email address that we have forgotten so we can copy it and we can keep here now this is the password you can see 
but this is not the real password this password only is understandable by the database so we have to set the password to set the password we have to copy the cookie key so here you can see in parameter.php you know we have already accessed this parameter.php so here we have to copy the cookie key so we already copied it and now we will paste it here okay and we have to add our specific password here like i want to add the password which is admin double one double two double three this is the password i want to say it so just see i have marked admin double one double two double three this is my password and i have to change i have to change the barker in md5 so this is the function section say the md5 and add the last some digit that what we have we want what you want to put the password here just add after the cookie key and now just click on the save or click on the go so we want to save it and then we want to go back to the previous space okay this is our email and this is the password but you can see one thing that this password with cookie case is not same what we have already written so this is the different but our password is you can see admin double one double two double three here you can see our table row is already updated that the password is set with cookie keys where the ps employee id employee equal to one so now it's time to check that our password is changed or not so double one double two double three now click on login well our site is accessed our back office login is successfully working so by this way you can also change your email address so if you just add the another email address then you can add it and you can just click on enter just click on enter okay so you can see your email address is updated but we don't want to change the email okay this is updated and here just one thing we have to remember that not change anything in this section if you change anything in parameter.php then your site may broken but one thing before doing anything about the php admin or you want to update or change anything from here or you want to update or change anything from here sometimes you may need to change also this but in that case you have to back up your site just uh, remember don't forget to back up your site so if you want to learn more about how to reset the password from the php my admin then you can see this article so in this article we have explained everything from step by step so you can read this article and if you have any query then you can ask your question to our comment box uh, and if you like this video then please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you